Hey guys, so as you can see I'm wearing some safety glasses and that is quite obvious because they're gross and dirty and everything But anyways, this is the car I have been driving for almost three years and it has looked exactly like this and it's it's not in great shape as you can tell and It's because I've off-roaded it. I've drifted it I've learned how to drive in this car to a certain point and I have never cleaned it either I have all oh there's the this door was open that's that's good that that has always been like that anyways yeah I hit a wall really hard going like 71 so this was the corner of a building I got this car for free and I got it for free for my grandmother because the steering rack went because there was literally a hole rotten inside of it so it was technically undrivable but I was like I can drive that what's wrong with that the rear brakes didn't work at all I fixed those with by doing nothing and the front brakes worked just a disclaimer, I've never driven this on the street, ever, but it was my daily driver, if that makes any sense. She's not in good shape, as you can tell, but she's not too, too bad. And sometimes the ignition doesn't work. So I use a caulking gun to start it, and I'll show you how. For the first while, I actually had to start it like that for probably a month. Every time I would have to start it, I'd have to get the caulking gun out. is I always keep cheap vehicles as my daily drivers because I have very expensive hobbies like my MX-3s. They get all the love, they get all the money, and why not beat on something like this? It runs perfect. Three years. It's actually lasted one full month with no oil in it. I tested it out and it actually went one full month with no oil in it, but then I filled it all the way up and it still ran and it's never missed a beat. As you can probably tell, this car is ready for the wreckers. I have a new Jetta. This is the new girl. $500 car that I saved from the junkyard. It was actually going to the junkyard, but I saved it. So I have an assortment of things I'm going to do before I actually scrap it because it's time. It's got to go. And I'm going to make a call to Logos and see what their steps are. Hello. Hi. I have a couple questions for you. Okay. So I have a vehicle that I would like to scrap. Is it okay if it doesn't have windows in it? Okay, let's say I drove it to you with no windows in it and would that still get the $300? Yeah, the exhaust is on there, tires are on there, yeah. So that's good, doesn't need any glass. Well, they close. Oh, that one still closes. Oh, that one's not. Whoa. Well, close now. Nope. Close enough. Uh-oh, I'm starting to lose stuff. Anyways, I'm wondering if I can get enough speed with my seatbelt on, obviously, and jump this. This is a nice drop way in here. About a four-footer. Oh, there's a dent from the tree. from up here to down here. <laughs> Looks like she's a little stuck.
She made it in way further than I thought. This is, this is bananas. It just keeps coming and coming. So I'm gonna use my truck to pull this out just a little bit. I'm hung up on a little bit of a rock and stick probably. All right, down in the ditch here. Anyways, I'm gonna back it up a little bit and then I'm gonna see if I can get this thing back up here, even if I have to like reverse it or whatever. And I'm gonna see if I can get it back up here without the truck. So I'm just gonna get her a little bit loose and then I'm gonna see what it'll do. like new. Now they don't open. Oh, I bet that'll come right back. Oh. <laughs> the hood and the windshield are looking mint though. And same with the roof. Normal body line, not so body line. I guess the window it is. <laughs> that fell off the Dakota. <laughs>
move the truck from here to there. I am not even kidding you. The exhaust looks pretty big. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Yeah, the side of the car used to be here. Used to be. That's good. This is the last drive she'll ever have. Easy to see at the back, that's for sure. I need this bumper for the memories.